Oh, hello there. I hate for you to see me like this. I've lost so much in this market, I don't know what to do. Wait, what? There's a cheat code that companies are using at earnings calls to boost the value of their company? How have I not heard? Alright, I've been convinced. Let's see what ChatGPT can do for us. Let's see what ChatGPT knows about RuneScape. I think we should start with a... You know, we'll start with an iconic boss in Zolra. See what advice he gives us. Well, it does know what Zolra is, so that's a good start. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, chat, GP. Chat, what are you. Oh no. Come on, I believe in you. Oh, okay. We'll at least have some range. That's. Okay, we got some interesting options here. You know, I think I'm probably not gonna bring the Arams for my Void Range Helm, but let's get this put together and see how it goes. Well, I got my setup. Honestly, not too displeased with this here. This, pretty good. Uh, okay, the ring, a little bit of a problem. Doesn't seem to know that you need a suffering. This is the other problem as well. It told me I had to bring melee, so I'm going to bring the melee gear as well. We'll see how this goes. Luckily, it remembered potions and food. And hope I get lucky. I, I'm just going to have to remember to kill the snakelings. It's not usually something I have to do. But I think luckily, this kill should be relatively quick. Hopefully. Because, I mean, the gear itself is otherwise pretty good. It's going to have to hope to get... Honestly, I think a mage first rotation would be really nice here, but if not, no big deal. Oh, let's go! Oh, it's been so long since I've had to do this with the blowpipe. Alright, we're halfway there. We're making good progress. Honestly, I think I'm just going to kill these guys during this phase because I can't imagine I'm going to deal much damage on melee form, so... I brought way too much prayer compared to what I'm going to need. If the kill was going long enough that I needed a second prayer potion, I think I would have been pretty screwed. Pretty good, though. Pretty good. Whoa! Oh, my lord! These snakelings. Oh, my god. That was, <laughs> that was insane. Come on! Finish him! Kill him! Let's go! Okay. That's one down, Chad GPT one. Can it get to two? Well, we did the money snake first, so I feel it only makes sense that we do the money dragon next. Let's see if Chad GPT knows anything about Vorkath. The answer is yes. Okay. Oh, it knows the salve? Oh, no, ChatGPT, no! Oh, you're so close! <laughs> also, interestingly enough, so it does know to use the diamond bolt swap with the ruby bolts, but there seems to be a little confusion on its part. All right, well, we got our gear, and while it's not necessarily what I would have picked, hey, <laughs> ChatGPT must know something that we don't, right? Not too happy that about the Slayer Helm, because one, it doesn't actually work with the salve, and two, the fact that it also asked us to bring Elite Void, not the most helpful not having the full set. The other thing that I thought was a little funny, it asked for a Super Anti-Fire Potion and the Extended Super Anti-Fire Potion, but it didn't tell me to bring an Anti-Venom, so that's a little bit annoying, and of course, the last problem, we don't have this little guy, Crumble Undead. That's probably the biggest challenge we're going to have to have with this fight. It's still possible, but this one's definitely going to be tough. Probably protect range here, because I do have some of that void on, which has pretty good magic defense. Alright, two procs right off the bat. It's kind of nice. Oh, I also didn't fully <laughs> charge the shield before going. That might be a mistake. This part I am curious about. This is actually gonna work. Come on. Okay, okay. Okay, we just 
got Venomed. I don't love that. Got to turn off! Honestly, that Venom might end up being a real big problem. Okay. Big hit, big hit. Nice! Okay, that's huge! Oh god. <laughs> cool. So I'm not even gonna try weeks walking with this. I've never weeks walked with a crossbow. Nice, big hit, big hit. Man, drag, like, this is actually kind of insane that even without full void, I'm still hitting this hard. Like, this gear is just insane. I think we might have, I'm gonna eat up, eat up, eat up, eat up. We're not, we're not risking it. Ugh! <laughs> no, oh god. Oh god. Yeah, I was, af I was afraid of that happening. Whoa, okay, a little bit of lag there. Mom, one more big hit, one more big hit. Let's go! Two for two! Alright, uh, do we give ChatGPD credit for that one? I don't know. I mean, we did get the kill, but I'm a little hesitant to say it was because of ChatGPD, that's for damn sure. Well, I'll be honest, I did think that ChatGPT would be able to figure out Zora and Forecast. There's just so much information out on them, and they're not that hard of bosses. You really only need the one style for each, and you can make it work. So let's see if we can figure out something where you need two styles. And I think the Calfi Queen is the perfect choice for that, with it being one of the more classic RuneScape bosses. A salve amulet for the Calfi Queen. Oh, oh, chat GPT, you poor innocent baby. So this suggested setup only was melee. There was no range anywhere. And as you might imagine, makes it so that you really can't do Calfi Queen with this. Well, I'm going to give ChatGPT one last chance for redemption, and I'll give it with one of my favorite bosses, Zami God Wars Dungeon. This is again one where I'm not sure if it's going to know, just because it does have that unique mechanic where you do need that Zami God Wars item. But, you know, there's multiple ways of killing it, so it has a lot of options in terms of telling me what to use to actually fight it. Let's see. I think the key is just going to be whether or not it knows a Zami item is required. You hurry or an occult necklace. Oh! Oh, okay! Okay. This will actually be possible. I I don't... I can't tell if it knew that it needed a Zami item, but the Zami Hosta, that'll work. Let's see if we can do this. Honestly, not a terrible setup since I'm only going for one kill. This would be pretty crap if I was trying to do more than one. But, for one, it should be fine. The biggest thing is that the Major is going to absolutely eat our ass. But, since we're only going to kill Zami... I think we can do it pretty quickly, and then this will actually help us. Now, I've done a lot of Zamorak God Wars Dungeon, but for the most part, I've always done the range method. I find that preferable. So, I'm, I'm debating maybe doing the melee uh, protect mage method, since I have so much melee gear. We'll see. You know, I'm just going to send it, see how it goes, and if I die, I'm going to look like an absolute fool. Okay do the the two two hits and then step under having the serp is actually really nice here because i don't get poisoned and curl's poison can hit really hard surprisingly he hasn't been hitting me oh i'm i'm doing this two-step terribly this needs a couple big hits you know he's one of those older bosses so he only has 200 H hp not nothing crazy Almost, almost. This spear is just so inaccurate. Wish you told me to bring a spec weapon. And there it is. Alright, you know that was not bad at all. Kind of good job, ChatGPT, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a solid okay. Well, I come out of this both impressed and completely unimpressed with ChatGPT. It, it's so close to being really, really good. And it really makes me wonder now when I'm looking at other stuff where I'm not an expert in the field, just wondering how many other small inaccuracies there are that I wouldn't know just because I don't know the material. And like, it just needs, you know, that 5% more development to get it from really good to perfect. 
but this is pretty fun and maybe we'll try it out again in the future and see if the algorithms maybe improved a little bit and gives us the actual meta best strategies for these bosses. So I'll see you guys next time.